Dr. Timothy Leary is the Pope of what he chooses to call a new religion, which is based on the consumption of drugs, particularly at the moment uh, LSD. Psychedelic drugs intensify consciousness. They're microscopic uh, in their effect, and uh, they're used by people who are looking for more. This is a true story. One of the participants, Charlie Rouse, the tenor saxophonist, was a friend of mine. And one night in the late 1970s, when we were hanging out working on a Thelonious Monk tribute that I published in Downbeat Magazine, I think in 78, Charlie told me this story. This happened in the early 1960s when the Thelonious Monk Quartet was playing at the Jazz Workshop in Boston. Dr. Timothy Leary, who was then a professor at Harvard, stopped by the club one night with a unique offer. Leary had written Monk a letter, which Monk never saw, so he had to explain that he had these mushroom pills that were synthesized from psilocybin mushrooms, and he was giving them to artists like Charles Mingus and Allen Ginsberg to try, see how it affected their perceptions, their creativity. Monk found the prospect intriguing, so an hour later, Monk and Rouse sat with Leary and one of his students in Monk's hotel room as Monk ingested the mushroom pills. This was in the middle of the night. Monk finished the gig at 1. By the time they got to the room, it was 2 o'clock, 2.30. They took the mushroom pills, and then around 3.30 or 4 o'clock, they began to feel something, but not much. They laughed a bit, talked. Leary asked some questions. It was, after all, a scientific experiment. At 6.15, there was a knock on the door. It was Paul Gonzalez. The Ellington band had just come to town and they were staying at the same hotel. Paul Gonzalez, who was known to enjoy a taste himself once in a while, brought a fifth of vodka, which Monk immediately opened and drank from the bottle. Leary was rather upset. End of experiment. Dr. Leary and his students packed up their research. Paul Gonzalez, Charlie Rouse, and Thelonious Monk had a taste. <laughs> I want to shock people that are listening to this. I want to make you think. I want to get you arguing among yourselves in your own living room the way you used to do in the 60s. I want the kids to be arguing with their grown-ups. Avoid adult, terminal adulthood, young people who are watching this. Don't grow up like your parents. Argue about it. Let's get some sparks and electricity going again because they're all a little too laid back. It's time to, uh, it's a great American tradition, of speaking up and challenging and stirring things up because no change takes place in the brain unless there's shock. It's some sort of an electrical explosion that shakes you up a little. It's not going to hurt you either. To hear a different point of view is not going to bring down the, <laughs> the walls of the Mormon temple or the <laughs> local churches. 